Hey YouTube, what's going on? <laughs> Hillman here. Hope you guys had a great week. It's Friday, an unusual day for me. No, I've worked today, but uh, I don't have Fridays off anymore, alas. But uh, just thought I'd come out here and make a video. It's a beautiful 69 degrees here in Texas today. It was like 80 degrees last week light breeze blowing this is beautiful sitting out on the deck weather and i'm not on the deck <laughs> it's over there but uh and here comes a world famous skeletal piper train but uh it's about oh almost four o'clock in the afternoon just got home from work and uh, if you follow me on instagram you'll know that this last three days i haven't been at work because they've been installing a new air conditioner holy crap that damn train's horn is loud that must be a brand new horn that one don't have the wear out built into it Woo! son of a guy but uh installed a new air conditioner and a new furnace and uh we just went through hell i know and i should say right here i want to thank everybody for the uh condolences on the passing of our little of our little dog corky a uh, very special dog. Uh, we had him cremated and uh, had him put in a really nice box that you can put your uh, put a picture in and uh, his little name on a engraved on a little plate. So a nice little box and uh, my wife wanted to cremate him and so I certainly didn't have any problems with that. And so the little man has come home. Went and picked him up Thursday and. Uh, I still talk to him. I talk to the box. <laughs> but uh, anyway, they put in a new air. We went air conditioner. First, our dog passed. had to put our, our dog passed away. And then our air conditioner went out. Well, the day after the air conditioner went out, I went to put something in the microwave. And that son of a bitch broke. It's like, holy smokes, how much bad karma have I built up for crying out loud. But anyway, everything's working. It took three days. They got it in. I still have a hole in the ceiling. We're waiting for the head technician guy to come inspect the work and uh, give his green light to it. And then he's going to call the guy on the phone to come and uh, put in the uh, repair of the ceiling where they where the ceiling hole is, where they had to do some stuff. Just sheetrock about an eight foot, eight foot section because they had to reframe some stuff to uh, upgrade us into the 21st century. Our old furnace was probably about 18 years old, and the new one we got is, uh, man, it's quiet. You can sit out on the deck, and you can't even hear it running. And, man, does it cool down. It's a tool, uh, two compressor system, and the furnace has uh, two burners in it. And, uh, man, it's amazing. We had the outside unit that sat here. Our house faces the west, and that unit sat here. And in the summertime in July, you couldn't even touch that thing because it was so hot. And it always bugged me that it was there. I've, I've been told that it doesn't hurt it if it does sit out there. But uh, I didn't like it. always bugged me it was sitting in this hot summer heat. So I had to move it around to the backyard. And uh, they did a super duper job. Uh, the company we had to do it, uh, they charge a little bit more, but they do really quality work. Budget hands. Rather have it done right the first time and pay a little bit more with uh, much better equipment. That's just me. Total bill 12 grand. <laughs> oh, housekeeping. Uh, smoking a My Father Lounge Exclusivo. This is an excellent, excellent cigar. Uh, I've had this one in my humidor for about two years and I've just been just keeping it, putting it, you know, just looking at it and like, nah, I'm going to save that. Nah, I'm going to say that. Well, today I was looking. Nothing really suited my fancy. Opened up another cooler door, and, uh, or a tub of door, I should say, and it was laying in there. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to smoke that my father. And I've had these before. These have really nice hints of uh, chocolate and uh, cedar. Just, you can't go wrong. Anything that my father puts out, Garcia puts out, is an excellent, excellent cigar. So, 
If that sounds like something you might like, go get you one. Oh, and I'm drinking a little Guinness Blonde American Ale. I had one of these uh, over the weekend, over the Easter weekend, and it's really, really good. So if you haven't drank one and you're wondering whether these are any good or not, I'm a beer connoisseur. I'm a professional. They're damn good. <laughs> How is everybody doing? I miss you guys. Been feeling like hell. And uh, I'm seeing like I'm talking really fast. I feel like I'm on speed. But the reason is, is because I finally finished my treatments last week. The doctor said, let it work. Let it, let it. And it was like overnight. One night I woke up. I was hurting. Couldn't sleep finally got to sleep and I woke up the next day and I felt like a brand new man and since then I have felt outstanding I have felt so good I can move my hands uh, haven't cramped I mean my hands haven't locked up um, my hip hurts a little bit but not too bad and uh, my back feels a lot better so when the doctor tells you something listen to the doctor that's that's the answer to that deal because I kept telling him, this, this shit is kicking my ass and I don't like it. I'm not, I'm not going to finish. And he goes, be patient. Let it work. Give it a week to two weeks. And I promise you'll be happy. Well, I got a follow-up appointment with him Tuesday. And I probably pulled it out in his pants and kissed his ass. <laughs> uh, but anyway. Yeah, so I feel good. I feel good. And everybody around me feels good. And uh, it's great to feel awesome. I swear I feel like about 15 years younger. Now if other parts of my body would work 15 years younger. I'm just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> Man, this is a good cigar. Got kind of a wonky burn going on it, but kind of got a little wonkiness going on there, but I bet it'll straighten up. I have a breeze kicking up every once in a while. So, a man can never have too many hobbies. I, I play disc golf, as everybody knows, and uh, that's my main hobby. And then, of course, YouTube is a hobby. Cigars and pipes are a hobby. And uh, back in the day, oh, back in the 80s and to mid-90s, I used to fly RC planes. I was a member of the local club here. And, uh, worked my way all up to uh, fans, inducted fans, and uh, it finally just got so expensive I couldn't do it anymore. I crashed and burned about an $1,100 airplane and that was the end of it for me. But uh, I gained a sudden interest, started watching some uh, quadcopter videos on uh, YouTube, and uh, got interested in maybe doing a little RC stuff again. So I ordered me one with a camera in it, and it's being uh, brought over from China, two, goes, two guys in a rowboat, so it's going to take forever to get here, but uh, it's got a camera in it. I've got to learn how to fly. Nothing like flying an airplane, that's for sure, and, uh, but anyway, in the meantime, I went on Amazon and found one that I had actually looked at before I bought the one that I bought, the one that I bought, though. I almost confused myself there and uh, picked that up and I picked one up had it in two days and so what I got and I'm going to show it to you and this one doesn't have a camera in it it is a SIMA or SEMA X11 Hornet it's what they call a micro or a micro it's about oh about this big well as a matter of fact Hang on just a second. This is going to be a long video. So, I didn't put up a video last week and you're always wishing I would put up a video. Just consider this to be like three videos in one. It's the same amount of time. <laughs> but anyway, yep, I have it. I still have it here in the box. I took it out. I flew it yesterday about three times. And, uh, by the third time I started to get where I could kind of control it, all I'm doing is practicing hovering and moving forward a little bit and back and a little bit from side to side and hovering again. But this is it. This prop guard is removable. 
and it is zippy 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 fast but it's excellent it's very stable if you ever wanted to <coughs> try a quadcopter i highly recommend this for a beginner because i had absolutely no skill at all flying these it's very stable uh the transmitter you can trim it out so if it's drifting a little bit you can always bring it back kind of bring it back in the center and it drifts a little bit it'll rise and low a little bit but it's got a touchy throttle so i'm trying to learn the throttle on that so I bought this one so I could play with it, learn how to fly a little bit better before I got the one with the camera. And then once I get the one with the camera, then I can fly out here outside and I get confident. And I'll put up some videos if you're interested in that kind of thing of me flying my quadcopter with the camera built into it. And uh, I have a little GoPro. If you go look up quadcopters on uh, uh, YouTube, there's uh, two guys I watch their uh, reviews, and they're just excellent, excellent channels. I'm going to drop them in the bucket if you're interested in going watching them and, and subbing them. they got some really good stuff. No fluffy, no fluffy reviews. They tell it like it is. And uh, these are ones that are, most of them are the ones that these companies send to them to review, and they don't, there's no holds barred. They, if they don't like it, they'll tell you that they, that they don't like it. And they've got some awesome flying skills. If you just want to see somebody fly with some badass off, uh, some badass uh, flying skills on quadcopters. These two guys are awesome. Anyway, I'll put their links down there. But uh, anyway, no, and it has a little a 200 me uh, ma battery in it. it. You can fly for about six minutes, maybe a little bit longer with the uh, prop guards off of it. I just set that down there. But anyway, that's that's it. Playing with quadcopters, feeling good. Smoking quality premium cigars, enjoying the beautiful weather, drinking a cold beer after a, well, it wasn't a hard day at work, but missing three days of working, man, I get behind in a hurry, boy, let me tell you. <laughs> so what else? I think that's it. Guys, I appreciate you watching this video. If you hung with it this long, I'm sorry it went so long. But I had a lot to say, a lot to talk about. So I hope you guys have a great weekend. I hope next week finds you blessed as always. I hate, I hope, 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 H-O-P-E, that you have a blessed week as always next week. Until we share another stick together, another hobby, and a puff of wind that blows your camera over. <laughs> Peace.